Hey, Dee Dee here in the industrial end of Walla Walla over here on uh, 9th Street. And uh, this, this is the last business. That, that over there was uh, PME. It was a screw machine shop that made parts for rainbird sprinklers. Over here is Smith's Chrome Plating. And there's quite a story with that. It's, you know, of course, chrome plating caused kind of a toxicity problem and the cleaning up's worth more than the property, but that's closed now. This place here is the plastic mold shop. So let's go on in. The owner's a little shy. He, he might be a voice in the background. We'll see. And we're in here. And there's my ride. <laughs> okay, coming on in, and here is a tool and cutter grinder, a Cincinnati number two. Oh, probably 60s, 70s, or something like that vintage, I guess. And this is the the heavier uh, heavier style, and. Uh, they kind of made them lighter after this. The table on this, it glides like you want it to. It's just beautiful. There's no hitches in it. Let's fire it up. Of course, there's no wheel guards on it. It's a tool and cutter grinder, but it comes with wheel guards here. And wheels. Lots of wheels. He's asking 1750 for this. And he'll take offers. It's got one shot lube. And uh, what else are you going to say? He's got a micrometer adjustment on here. It's really nice. And let's start it up and listen to it. Now that's a bit quieter than mine, isn't it? Huh? Of course, mine has the belt down here, the motor down here. This one has the, the motor in the head. And it's quite a bit more powerful than my grinder. Right here. Now, these will tilt if you have a, 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 a accessory bracket or you could actually fabricate something on here because it's all contained in the head. You can do a lot with the grinder like this. Okay, there's things that go with this grinder or uh, can go with the grinder. There's <laughs> oh, this looming thing here is a giant arbor press and he wants 875 for it. Five ton. Five ton. Five ton. Five ton. Let's have a look at it. It is a Dumont, it looks like. That is a nice arbor press there. Just wonderful. Okay, the grinder here. Now we're going to go around the corner. Look at the plastic mold machines and stuff in here. He's uh, kind of shut down. Have a quick look over here. Here's a... He, he's uh, kind of stripped down all the molds, but here's a mold that he made for this plastic part here. Very simple uh, fitting. But making a mold is not that simple. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Look at all this stuff it's here. It's magical. It's magic. Okay, we're going to start over here on the table with the accessories. And this is a tap grinder. And it's a copy of the Kale Lee. It's a nice, it's a nicely made one. It's uh, heavy iron. And here's all the cams for it. And it's 5C. It's got a 5C adapter in here. And he's thinking, 275? Yeah. Oh, I hope I didn't undershoot him. 275 on that. I, I, I uh, used something like this at the community college, but it's so long ago, I, I can't remember. It's like a regular one. As you turn it, you can see the spindle go forward and then jump back. So you put whatever flutes the cams on for the number of flutes and then there's right hand and left hand cams whichever way you're trying. okay that that's complete it's this is complete okay with the drawbar and here that he had this uh 
will fit on the tool and cutter grinder a 5x10 magnetic chuck. He's thinking 125 on that. This is a, a U.S. Uh, or news uh, uh, made in Japan of horizontal vertical hard inch type indexer. It's got a spindle cover here, final C. He's thinking 275 best offer on this stuff. Now, this is a cool set here. Uh, this one here really uh, caught my attention because it's an Ellis dividing head. Absolutely complete. You just never see them like this. It's got, it's got the, uh, it's got the uh, little uh, four inch uh, set true buck chuck with the complete with the jaws, chuck key, table keys, and all the index plates and the tail, the footstock. It's a nice set, and it's thinking 500 for that, and that's just, I, I think that's killer. All this is in really nice shape, it's tight. Look at that, isn't that sweet? It's just absolutely sweet. Little dividing head. I'd grab that myself, but you know, I got me a big brown and sharp, and I'm doing fine. Oh, okay, this is what you need. <laughs> This is a K.O. Lee heavy style, one of the heavy ones, uh, work head. 5C collet, and it's got the uh, 24 position indexer on it with a micrometer adjustable flicker finger. That is just really nice. Isn't that sweet? Look at that. He uh, used that on the Cincinnati. And I think he said he paid $2,500 for that about 25 years ago. So you got to figure inflation. Now back here is, is, some, uh, is some dressers, some diamond dressers you can put on the magnetic chuck. Then he's got these pin grinding devices. And you're going to have to kind of go best offer on this.